Hi guys, my name is Citri, and welcome to my advanced RuneCraft tutorial series. Um, these are for the Minecraft survival multiplayer uh, add-on called RuneCraft, and uh, they are done from the assumption that you already have the basic understanding of how the runes in question work. I'm just going to give you guys a tutorial about rune overlapping, which is one of the first things I learned about RuneCraft, which is to do with the way that teleporters work. Um, first things first, I've got two waypoints here, um, each with different wool signatures to differentiate the two. And I'm just going to quickly build a teleport room that will link to the left one. And we'll use that as the foundation for this uh, multi-teleport room, which I'm going to show you guys. I'm making them out of a uh, tier 1 material because it's easy, it's cheap, and uh, in most cases it's recyclable material, gotta be green these days. There's the basic rune into destination, so that is one white wool block to the left, one yellow wool block to the top. We link, and why isn't it working? It's because I haven't opened the waypoint. And now, simple teleportation. Now, the reason I came up with this was because I was trying to save space, and um, I wanted a way of having more teleport runes in a smaller amount of space. And what I realized was that it was very easy to extend a rune, as it were, which is uh, pretty much what I'm about to do here. Running out of wood. Uh, i just grab some from this wood chest here. Good old summonable Xerix's chest. Really wonderful rune. So glad that it got fixed in a patch not long ago. So now what we have here is our original teleport rune, and right next to it, another teleport rune, this one without a program destination. So I'm going to break that open and put in a waypoint signature for this one on the right here, which is yeah, at the top right on the side. And now we have two working teleport runes, each overlapping, saving about two-thirds of a rune's worth of materials there. So if you're making them out of something like a tier 6 diamond rune for security purposes, and you have to have that much diamond, uh, you can save a ton just by doing things like this. Goes to the left, as you can see, and to the right. Uh, one of the great things about this method of rune overlapping is how easily it is to extend that at a later time. You can come back, uh, say, months after exploring out into the wilderness and just add gently onto your uh, multi rune here, having built, as you can see I have done, a third waypoint to the right there off camera. So it really is quite convenient just in terms of uh, space saving and easiness to maintain. And uh, why is that not? Oh, I've not opened the waypoint rune. And there you go. We now have a three destination rune in the floor, which is, if my math is right, about one half third, maybe? Well, a number percentage of the size that it should otherwise be if you were making these runes separately. So hopefully you can make some neat things with that and uh, save some space. So I'm just going to show you guys some of the examples of that end. Um, multi rune floor system that I've made. Uh, this is my storm, as you can see. I've used double half steps to sort of make a nice pattern with these three here and uh, other places where it could be actually being runes themselves, uh, all transporting to different locations. This one takes you up to my Chrono Trigger Tower, and you can see everything that I have made here from up here. And, um, well, that was embarrassing. And this one here, uh, it takes me back to the storeroom where I just left from. This one here leads me to the furnace room, which is just across, uh, which is where I do all my smelting and destruction of items. And this one to the castle I was building. You can just see how invisible a rune would be. There could be dozens hidden in the floor here, seamlessly. And it just looks quite nice, and it's not obtruse or anything, apart from the redstone which I've just used more as a marker than anything else. So, um, so guys, thank you for watching my first RuneCraft Advanced tutorial. And um, 
which is more of a showcase as well as a tutorial. If you guys liked it or would like to see more, just like, subscribe, or comment with your feedback. It's my first YouTube video, so I'd really appreciate any constructive criticism you guys have, and uh, any suggestions for future tutorials would also be good. And if not, then I'll just work through the list of things that I came up with for RuneCraft uh, as I invented them. So, cheers, and I'll see you guys next time.